Okay, I'm back. Now we want to get our ballet dancer on our canvas. And so you received what is called a stencil. And the stencil has a white backing that we're going to take off. And then we're going to just lay the blue onto our canvas. Now, if you think you might not be able to paint very carefully with our sponge and the outline and not get it past the blue, then you might want a little bit of masking tape around the edges just to protect that background from our stencil work. So in order to get the backing off of our stencil, we're gonna flip it over and you're going to use a popsicle stick or you can use, I have a little plastic scraper. You can also use just like a credit card or something like that or a gift card. And you are going to want to run your tool over the back, pressing down so that the blue sticker is going to stick to that clear tape that's on the front. So now I'm doing that, I'm smoothing it all out. And then I'm going to peel from an angle the white, um, background off. So I'm going to scoop my camera down just a little bit so you can see me better what I'm doing. Okay. So now I'm going to start at an angle and while I'm peeling, I want to make sure all of that blue is sticking on the clear tape. So do you see as I'm peeling, nothing is on the white paper anymore. I want all of that gone. And so I'm peeling it like that all the way off. Okay. And that can go over there. And now I have my ballet dancer on the sticker. So now I'm going to lay her on my painting where I want her to go. Now be very careful because once you stick it down, you can't move it around. Once it's stuck, it's stuck. And we want it to lay very, very flat. This blue paper needs to lay very flat so that no paint bubbles up underneath our image so that we get nice crisp lines all the way around as the silhouette to our dancer. So I'm going to put her where I want her and I'm going to lay this down very carefully. Okay, just like so. Now I need the blue paper sticker to stay on my canvas and peel away this grid paper. So now I'm going to lay this down flat and I'm not going to be able to press too hard because this canvas has um, a, a backing so it doesn't sit flat on the table. So I'm going to sort of smooth this out and I think what might be better is if I turn this over and I actually use my scraper and just sort of go across the back a little bit to make sure that I'm kind of smoothing it out and getting sort of everything stuck on. This side I'm doing, I'm trying to get rid of some of these bubbles that I see. And now we're gonna do the same thing where we are going to peel off this grid and leave the blue down. Now, as I'm pulling, I can see that my blue is not staying down. So I might need to use my finger or my tool to hold it down while I'm taking this white sticker off. So I gotta pull this, and I'm kind of running my finger back down to hold that blue down. We want the blue to stay on our canvas, okay? And we're gonna peel off the grid paper. So you can see I'm working kind of slow and then I'm smoothing out that blue sticker as I go, okay? It wants to pull the blue back off. So I'm just taking my finger and I'm smoothing it down and holding it down while I'm pulling the tape off. I hope this is making sense. We want the blue to stay down and now the clear to come off. The blue is a sticker, but it doesn't stick super hard. And 
So I'm just stopping every so often and I'm taking my finger and smoothing out the blue sticker on my canvas. And right here on her dress, there's a little divot and that wanted to keep coming. So I need to kind of go back down and hold it down because it wanted to peel up. So I'm holding it in place, smoothing out that blue sticker while I go. Oh, and now right here by her head, there's these two little parts that are starting to want to come also. So hold it back down, hold it down with your finger a little bit or with your popsicle stick or a tool like this and you can hold it down while you're pulling. And then we'll smooth it all out in just a second. Really make sure that you, I'm gonna put this towards me so you can see a little bit better. These two pieces by her head really wanted to come with this tape, see it popping off of the canvas. So I'm gonna hold it down really tight and smooth it out. This might even require some team effort. Maybe one person go at a time and help each other. Hold down the blue part while you're pulling off this sticker. Okay, so this out of the way, okay? Now we have this and I have some bubbles going on and we do not want any bubbles because any bubbling and the paint is going to um, not stay right where our stencil is. It'll kind of bubble under and we won't get crisp lines. Now, if your stencil is not staying down and you feel like it's not sticking, there are two things we can do now because I can see mine is not wanting to stick down very hard either. Two things we can do. We can always trace this and then paint it. We don't have to paint it right now. You can always trace it with a pencil. You have this outline. But what I'm gonna do is I'm smoothing this down. It's just taking a little bit of extra time. And I'm looking around all the edges of my stencil to make sure they're flat. I have a little bubble here, so I wanna get rid of that. So I'm working this out so that it's laying nice and flat. Now, the best, best, best technique for not getting paint to go under and to have a nice crisp line is to work in layers of paint. Do not get a whole bunch of paint on this all at one time. I'm gonna show you on my plate. I'm gonna just kind of move my other things around. I'm dabbing my paint, but then I'm dabbing it back off again. There's not very much paint on here and I'm making sure that I'm just going up and down. I don't want to smear it and I don't want to puddle paint. This has to be a very light coat, kind of almost see-through to start. And you can get it on the blue because we're going to throw that away. So I'm doing this in coats. And now I started with the skirt and I shouldn't have done that because we don't need that. We're going to cover that up with something fun. So just do her legs. I'm gonna start kind of in the middle so that I make sure that I don't have a ton of paint on the edge of the stencil. So start in the middle and kind of work your way out so that you're just going up and down. I hope you can see that I'm just doing kind of this pouncing technique. And so you can kind of see that we're gonna have a crisp edge. I can go a little bit onto the blue that's okay, because we're gonna throw that away. This is not a fast process. You're going to want to do a very, very light layer, almost see-through, and then if you want it to be really, really dark, we'll just come and do another coat, okay? So up and down, 
It can go onto the blue because we're just going to throw it away, but don't get it on your background. When you get to this edge, slow down a little bit, take your time, be careful, and just make sure that your stencil is staying down. If it's not staying down and you're having a hard time, you can always just use it and trace with a pencil and then um, paint it. So up by her arms, my, my stencil was wanting to bubble a little bit. So I'm gonna be very, very careful. I'm going to hold it down while I get this going so that I can have really good crisp lines for her silhouette. Going up and down. And once I get actually a little bit of paint on the blue, it seems like it's kind of sticking down and staying a little bit better. The paint is sort of helping that. So I hope you can see, and I'm just working on her arms and I'm going up and down. And again, like I said, you can see it's not very dark. It's not a dark layer. You can almost see through it. I can go back over it as many times as I need to, to get it as dark black as I want to, as her shadow, as her silhouette. So I'm going to just do her whole upper body now. And again, you don't need to do the skirt because we're gonna do something fun with that. We're not gonna see that. And it's probably best that we don't paint it so that um, our skirt is going to be the feathers. And so we can not have the black showing through the feather part. That'll look nice if we just skip the black part right there. So you can see it doesn't take much paint to get going here. So I'm going to just do her body. Okay, and now I, if I want to do a second coat, I'm gonna go back to where I started and just give it one more, one more coat so that I can make sure it's as black as I want it. Cause that was a very thin coat. I could almost see through it. I could still see some of the background through her body. So I'm working in layers of paint. And I'm just going up and down And I think I have her legs good and painted in, just up and down. Not a lot of paint is needed to cover. Now back up to her arm where I started. I'm just going in the order that I did everything. I'm sort of bottom to top here. I'm gonna add a little bit more black. I really didn't use a lot of paint up by her arms the first time because my stencil really did not want to stay down. So I'm making sure I'm going up and down with my sponge and hopefully I'll have a very crisp line when I get done because it did not want to stick very good. And you can always go around her with um, a detail brush too, if your lines um, aren't as crisp as you wanted them. It's paint and we can always touch up and go over things too, once we take this stencil off. Okay, when we, I'm just looking to see if this is as much paint as I want. I think she's good and filled in. And now I want to make sure that this is dry before I peel it off so that none of the paint that's sitting on the blue part um, gets on my background. So this is um, acrylic paint and acrylic paint dries relatively quickly. Um, so I'm going to carefully um, peel mine 
but please wait to make sure that this is all dry before you start to peel this off. You don't want any um, of the stencil paint to get on your surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull mine off very carefully, just like so. And this is now garbage. Careful of your fingers if you're touching. Okay, so now I have my dancer. And don't worry about this, that was just marking the skirt and that, that yours won't be there. So hopefully you just discarded her skirt because we're gonna do something really fun for her skirt. We are going to use feathers as her um, ballet skirt part or the tutu. And so for the feathers, you're going to have to just sort of lay them out how you might want them and overlay them a little bit. I'm gonna cut a little bit of these, um, the stem part so that I just kind of have it thicker. And then I'm just going to um, hot glue them down, a teeny tiny bit of hot glue because I don't, um, I don't want a ton of glue. And I'm just gluing up towards the top there. Okay. A lot of feathers when you cut it. So, um, this part's gonna be just a little bit messy. And you can kind of tell that some of these um, curve in different ways. And so you can kind of just play around with how you want them to lay down or how long you want her skirt to be. So this is a very long feather. It's longer than my other one. So I might kind of work with it to give it um, the same length as the other one. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue next to the other one. And I'm laying it down like that. So. So far, that's how it's looking. And you can make your tutu shape however you want, however thick you want it to come off of your canvas, how long you want these to be. This one, I'm gonna get it. I like the way it's kind of curving, but I just want it a little bit shorter, I think. So this is kind of just an experimentation of laying out what you have, your things, and how you want it to lay on your canvas and then not too much glue. And I'm just gluing um, the top of the stem of the um, feather. I'm leaving the bottom sort of loose, okay? And now I'm just sort of layering this on and I like the way they kind of curve a little bit so that's kind of making it look fun too kind of like this one is kind of short and not curving so I might do this one right in the front and I'm just putting a little bit of glue on top of that other stem just at the top of it So this is just you sort of looking at your things and um, deciding where to cut it, how long the feather needs to be, where you're putting it as her tutu. Here's mine so far, okay. I think I might get a couple more going just on top. I might want to just a little bit thicker. Some little ones on top maybe that don't have a thick stem. That are just a little bit more delicate and can kind of hide the stems of the other ones a little bit. Okay, next is sort of this really fun part. We are going to um, add glitter and I should have brought another. You know what, I'm gonna apply it with this one. 
we're going to put Mod Podge on, on the ends of the feathers, a little bit of Mod Podge, and then we're going to sprinkle on some glitter. So I'm going to take the Mod Podge now, and like I said, you can keep going with however many feathers you think you want to do. I'm going to just get a little bit of Mod Podge on here, okay? And I'm going to work um, feather by feather, I think. Um, I didn't open this ahead of time. Okay, it's got a little... This might be a little messy. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to take some Mod Podge, put it at the end, and don't worry, your feathers, um, it, they look white right now, but it dries clear. And I'm just gonna sprinkle on the glitter right where I put that Mod Podge. And it's okay if some of that Mod Podge um, goes onto the background and you have glitter on the background, but I don't have very much Mod Podge on this brush or on this sponge. Just a little bit can go a long way. And I'm just doing the ends just for a little something. Now this is just to give you an idea. If you want to change it up and have it be your own project, you go for it. You have some supplies and tools to kind of do, do it how you like it. And so once these dry, I'm gonna just kind of pull them away from the background a little bit because I don't want my feathers to stick to the canvas. I want them to still be free flowing, but I don't want them to be so stuck on with the glitter. I'll add a little bit more glitter right here. All right, so that's how it's looking so far. And I think I might um, now add a little bit more feather on top, some small ones that um, don't have glitter, just to sort of fluff this back out a little bit. Now that some of those are kind of sticking to the canvas a little bit. So I'm just sort of adding a couple more pieces on top. Some of the feathers actually have this very nice flat piece already. So if you go through the bag and sort of maybe use those as the bottom, um, that might be helpful too. I'm sticking these kind of on top right now, these ones with the fan shape, and maybe those will be a good, um, I'm gonna find another one like that that has a flat edge. I might do three on top and then add some really good glitter to that because it's already nice and flat. It's kind of got a good surface. Okay, so one more right here. And then in your craft kit, you have some other ditties, some other embellishments that you can um, use to decorate the background. You can use it to decorate her, um, her little crown or um, <clears throat> her leotard. If you wanted to do that, her Leo could use um, some blinging, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna leave that up to you. <clears throat> You have some little pearl pieces and some little rhinestone pieces, and you might even have some extra rhinestones um, of your own from costumes that you could add. So you can see I just kind of highlighted those, those three flat ones up on top. Maybe you can see that. Okay, so now you can go ahead and surprise me with where you put all the ditties. They are kind of stickers already, but you might want to either um, 
use a little hot glue if you can because they're very small or um, even Mod Podge. If you put a little Mod Podge on your canvas and then stick on your embellishment, the Mod Podge will help it stay there too. So I hope you enjoy this craft. This is super darling and I can't wait to see how you embellish your dancer. And have a very happy birthday. This is so exciting for your birthday party. So take care and Merry Christmas too. That's coming right around the corner. Bye-bye.